Hey, everybody. <sighs> Last night was a bit of a dud. After three, four failed attempts at different targets, I settled on the Iris Nebula, which I haven't yet checked uh, the output of. Uh, I was up very late. Uh, noon today, I tried to do some solar photography. Uh, this time, I thought I would connect my Barlow lens to uh, my Nikon because my Barlow uh, wouldn't fit my ASI. It's a one and a quarter inch Barlow. I don't know what I was expecting to see. And in the end, it, it was interesting. And now I know what that looks like. Uh, but I was hoping for more definition of the uh, surface fluctuations, uh, surface features of the sun. For that, I think I would need a solar camera, something I, I don't have, I don't know as much about. For tonight, the weather is supposed to be better than last night. Last night it was uh, damp, it was overcast, uh, the seeing conditions were just terrible. Uh, today, uh, tonight, it's supposed to be clear. Right now, the sky is kind of bluish and the wind is supposed to die down. I feel a bit of a breeze right now. That's supposed to clock in in just under eight kilometers per hour. So about uh, five, four uh, miles per hour. Um, I'm gonna have to switch over my scope, take off my Barlow, take off my uh, Nikon, and reconnect my ASI. So that's it. I'm ready to go for tonight. I might try for M81 and M82 again, although I'll have to start that much earlier because it's going to be right up in the sky, but at least uh, I'm not going to run into any issues with my mount hitting my base since I've moved up my uh, counterweight. Uh, my guiding seemed pretty good last night, even though my uh, scope is now slightly front heavy. Uh, I think that may have been just because I was pointed so much, uh, so high in the sky. If I try for a lower target, and maybe I'll do that after M81, we'll see what my tracking is like then, whether or not I have to revert my uh, counterweight a little bit further back, which will once again obstruct my mount. This is the second night. I just did my alignment against the Nebula, Vega, and Polaris. Centering Polaris is like being at the North Pole. Directions are all wonky. East is west, west is east. And there's Arcturus. Not quite as centered as I would have liked, but uh, I will add that to my model. Ah, oh, need more sleep. I will add Arcturus to my model. So I have M81 and M82 targeted. And my guiding is up. And my uh, plan is running. I don't know how much time I'm going to get on these. I don't know what the conditions are going to be like with clouds. But there is the scope. Wedgie is pointing at M81 and M82 and I'm excited to see what's going to happen with this. I have a feeling tonight is going to be much better. Oh, again I made a mistake. I took a few pictures already uh, and I haven't gone through my focusing. Uh, it should have been okay from last time, uh, but I was focusing against the sun earlier. And now I'm using a cool DSI camera. This is, yeah, the focus. I reverted the focus to what it was the last time I had it, which was a few nights ago. So it's not that bad, but it might be a few points off. So let's, let's redo our focusing quickly. 
No more re enable. The focus aid is telling me I should be at 29043. So it did shift. Let's uh, turn off live view and keep going with our plan. Fingers crossed, everyone. Hey guys, it is 1.30 in the morning. Tonight didn't go as smoothly as I hoped. About 40 minutes into my plan, my Windows laptop decided to do a Windows update and restart it. So, uh, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll finish tonight off on a positive note. Uh, I'm going to go find M13 and, uh, it's been a while since I've, I've photographed the Hercules cluster. So that should be good. And here is the Hercules cluster. I put my, uh, light pollution filter on my 50 millimeter. Right here is the Great Hercules Cluster through 50 millimeter lens, a nifty 50 set to 18 millimeters. And now let's turn on our capture plan and APT. It's almost 2 a.m., so let's just take a five hour wonder if I should change this up to multiple plans at uh, different exposure lengths, just not to oversaturate. We'll see what the first picture comes back as. Guiding needs to settle for a three minute global globular cluster exposure. That's too much. Okay. I think it's oversaturating a little bit in the center. I'm going to let it go as is. Hey everybody, last night was a great example that sometimes the stars are just not in your favor. But we can still take away a few lessons. For example, um, know your surroundings. If you're shooting from the same spot, especially, know where your obstructions are. And understand what you're watching and where it's going to be in the sky. So basically plan your nights accordingly. If you know that whatever you're going to be catching is going to disappear behind the house, start early and set your expectations that uh, you're only going to have a short amount of time. Have other targets ready, other targets that are in better positions so that you can capture them throughout the rest of the night. Cool thing about having a wedge is that you don't have to do meridian flips. So you can pick a target and your scope will track it all night long. 
there's not much you can do about equipment failures like your laptop crashing and rebooting on you. But if you can, and if you are traveling uh, to a remote location, it's good to have a backup. Um, I do have a backup, but it's not up to date. So before I go anywhere, I will have to make sure that I've got all my latest software loaded. And if that doesn't work, carry an eyepiece with you. Uh, visual astronomy is pretty darn cool, and you can still do that. Um, be aware of local wildlife. That's a good one. If you're shooting in poor weather, uh, pick targets, especially if you have bad seeing, pick targets higher up in the sky. Uh, less atmosphere to go through means you'll have a clearer shot. And also set your expectations accordingly. Maybe use those nights to uh, tweak your approach, test your equipment. Uh, set your slew limits appropriately and test your slew limits. I obviously had not tested my slew limits after the latest modifications I had made and my counterweight hit the mount and that threw off my alignment which set off a whole series of things that I needed to go through. Windows updates. You probably need them. Schedule those around your astrophotography sessions. Check your focus many times throughout the night. As uh, temperature changes, your uh, focus could shift. Um, you could be adjusting your camera. That could result in a change in focus. Uh, you don't want to go through an entire night of uh, capturing data only to find out that the Hercules cluster is out of focus. Astrophotography is a funny kind of hobby. It's a very solitary hobby, and yet we all have this shared experience. So if you're watching this, I hope you feel better about your crappy nights. Feel free to vent in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and clear skies.